I'm meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. Another cool, dry and sunny afternoon here in southeast New England with temperatures that are running just slightly cooler than average. We're going to see our highs topping out in the lower to middle 50s with the light winds making a turn to the south as the afternoon goes on. It'll stay mostly clear overnight tonight. Chilly, but not quite as cold as it was last night. Lows dipping down to around 38 degrees. In fact, it doesn't take long before we're back into the 40s and lower 40s at that in many areas at 6 o'clock this evening. And then overnight tonight, staying around the upper 30s to lower 40s. That's where we start our day tomorrow. Warming up into the low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon. Going to be a beautiful day with a little bit of a breezy southwest wind. Just the start of a milder trend. Meanwhile, while we're enjoying dry weather, We've got Nicole, still a tropical storm as of the last update from the National Hurricane Center. It's going to be making its way towards Florida, still forecast to become a hurricane on approach. A storm track here brings it over the northern Bahamas during the day today and then moving on shore into Florida overnight tonight. Again, the wind field with this is very large, so you have to think about impacts well away from the center of the storm with tropical storm force gusts out 400 plus miles from the center of the storm. So much of Florida going to have a windy stormy night. That system will move to the uh, north and west during the day on Florida and then eventually a day on Thursday, then eventually lift up through Florida into the southeastern United States and then from there the remnants of it will interact with the front and move through New England. So we are going to feel some impacts. You can see that rain and wind continuing in Florida during the day today and tomorrow, then lifting into the mid-Atlantic region. For us, it's late in the day on Friday where we'll start to see some rain, most of that holding off until after the sun goes down. Tropical downpours and gusty winds expected Friday night into early Saturday morning. We do have the potential for some stronger wind gusts in the range of 40 to 55 miles per hour. Rainfall amounts of one to two inches possible, and there could be some minor coastal flooding and minor beach erosion. So a lot of impacts here in a short amount of time for the end of your Veterans Day. But out ahead of the stormy weather, it's turning milder from 60s tomorrow to near 70 on Friday. All the details on the weekend forecast are over on Fox Providence.